Hey guys, Joel Shark Reviews here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Tarn. And yeah, so here he is in his tank mode. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Good old Tarn, or in this case, Battle Tarn, right here on my review set. And yeah, so I got him a couple of days ago, and wow. The, the hype was worth it. I'll just start by saying that. Because, wow, they, uh, they did a great job on them. But why that is? Well, let's dive into that right now. So, here is Tarn's tank mode. Oh, wait. Before we do that, though, let's take a look at his packaging. So, here it is. And, you know, I got the nice artwork here at the front, which is class. Comic Universe Tarn, it looks like, since that they, you know... At the, the end of last year, the IDW lost the rights to Transformers, and this time they're calling it Comic Universe, because with the blur they said IDW Universe, but at that time, that was the summer of, you know, 2022, the IDW was still making Transformer comics, and now it seems like they're, uh, since they don't have the license anymore, now they just got Comic Universe, or maybe it's the way they won't have to pay it, I mean... Again, since they use IDW for blur, it's probably because, you know, now, now they're, uh, They've parted ways, but yeah. And of course, you got Top Transfer, uh, Transfer's Legacy Evolution. You got the QR code right here. You may scan that if you want. And then you got the side artwork right here. Really nice. And on the other side, you got this here. And then on the back, we got Comic Universe Tarn and you know, Evo Fusion and 27 Steps Tank Mode and. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Tarn's packaging. So let's get right down into this evil, wicked beast of a character. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how to describe him, but yeah. So, anyways, for those who don't know who Tarn is, I mean, most people probably know by now. Uh, definitely, if you're IDW fans. Uh, so Tarn is an antagonistic character in the IDW comics, or at least was, but and yeah, he's. He's supposed to be thought as like the perfect Decepticon stuff. Like they, they refer to him that as in Cyberverse, I remember. And yeah, so he, he's basically like the most powerful Decepticon there is, even more so than Megatron, which is crazy, I think. But here we are. So yeah, so uh, this is, I believe, the first official release by Hasbro, the character. And in the past, a lot of the IDW stuff, of course, has been done by third party companies, but this is the first time we're getting an official version. And I gotta say, Hasbro knocked it out of the park, so. Yeah, so anyways, let's take a look up close here at Tarn's tank mode. And it looks really cool. I really like how they paint some of, like, around the treads here. And stuff like silver in the inner part. And then it's, it's like this brownish, grayish plastic here for the actual treads themselves. And, yeah, you got the front here. It's basically the main center chest of his robot mode, of course. And you got nice gold Decepticon sitting in there. That's first. <laughs> it's pretty rare. And you get some gold paint here and here for what will become the knee pads in the robot mode on the bottom. And let's check, of course, he's got visible head syndrome there. And yeah, a lot of cool details overall. And yeah, so now unfortunately, these are faux little wheels here, so. Yeah, you can't roll them around, but oh well. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that up close. Now, of course, for the accessories, it comes with, well, it comes with two guns right here, and then this attach, uh, attachable piece right here, which is useful for both this mode and the robot mode. And of course, it comes with two different guns. They're, they are not identical, but they help, you know, signify... Which one goes on top and which the bottom, or side to side, I guess. Depending, well, top and bottom for robot mode and then side to side for alt mode. But yeah, but anyways, here is his left gun. Now this one's more of a roundish one, as you can tell. It's more traditional. Really nice, I really like the clear purple cla classic <laughs> um, plastic that they used. And yeah. Um, and of course you can put blast effects in there. And then here's his right one. Right here is right gun. It starts off here at the tip more around, but then it gets boxy here in the back. It looks really nice. 
again, you can store stuff in there. So yeah. And, and of course, finally, you know, I got this piece right here. It's <laughs> just the attaching piece. But I do like how they kind of made it look like one of like his treads, sort of. And yeah. So yeah, basically in order to assemble it, you just gotta put the blockier one on this side, and then the rounder one on this side. And then of course, then there's two clips here, and then they go into these slots, and then yeah, that's how it stores. So yeah, there's that. Uh, oops. Okay, can this go back on? Will this go back on? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I have to flip it around. There you go. That's how you'll get it. Almost forgot. Oh, wait, then in that case, then you have to put this up here, and then this up here. Oh, man. oh wait, and then that means I have to flip it around. Oh, man. I'm messing up badly here. Okay. Silly moments, which I'll shark reviews. But, um, yeah, so then. I was touched that. Okay, there we go. And there is the. Why is this not wanting to stand as much? But, okay. Uh, yeah. Alright, well. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there's that. Uh, pretty cool. And yeah. Mm, let me... Oh, that's why this is. Yeah. Hold on, psych guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, that. Apparently, what you have to do is. Uh, yeah, I have this in the back here. You have to move it forward because there's this little thing right here, and then there's like a right here, there's like enough, just enough clearance for that section right there, as you can see. Yeah, that's why I didn't fit on before. So, there we go. Now I got that back on. <laughs> so, that wasted a little bit of time, but yeah, so there's that. And yeah, so, anyways, uh, so yeah, you can, of course, rotate the tube. <laughs> this came off the turret, just only a little bit though. And yeah, and you can't really bring these up that much because if you do, then well, it will detach. Then and I'm not gonna go through all that again. It's 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 not that you know painful to put that back on. It's just you know the way it's doing it. So yeah, but anyways, now for the size comparisons, here he is with his WaveMate Leo Primer here, Leo Convoy. And yeah, odd comparison, but why not? Because you know, wave mates and all. Um, yeah, here they are together. Uh, not much, I can't really say too much because again, these characters never really cross paths, not that I know of. So yeah, so there is that. So anyway, and yeah, I don't know any other Tarn figures since this is like the first official one. Like literally, it is. If you go on TF Wiki, this is like the first, like the only figure, first and only figure that pops up because you know. The rest will be third party, but since it's not official, it doesn't really count. So, yeah, so there you guys have the alt mode. So let's get right down into this guy's transformation. So starting off, you want to remove the turret section right up here. And just place it off to the side. So yeah, you get a little bit of, part, a little bit, a little bit of parts forming. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me, but I, I know a lot of people are going to be like, boo, I personally don't care. Even if it's Tarn, if, if it's not Tarn, I, I don't even really care. But yeah. Anyways, uh, so next thing you want to do is you want to bring back the feet. You want to un unattach them from these tabs. I think there's like the slots in there that these go into. And yeah. So you want to bring the legs back and then fully straighten them out. And then in the process, you just want to untab the arms right here. And then after that, you just want to, you just want to, you just want to bring this back over here and do the same thing here. And then after that, bring for the arm right here. And then at the same time, bring up this lower half of the treads and then tab that in. And then close this panel up right here. And then next, just rotate around here by the elbow-ish area, and then rotate around here at the wrist, and then bring around this panel right to the other side, and there you go. And you just want to do the same thing right here, bring this up, yeah, there's a little slot tab here that goes on that slot, and then close that up, and rotate that around, oh wait, this way, <laughs> and then swivel this here, and then bring that there, so there you go, now you got both the arms, now for the legs, we just want to flip down the feet so they're like this. Oh, and then 
bring up the legs all the way till they click, and there you go. So now he's uh this this weird thing. I mean we've seen weirder before, but still this is this is still a little odd. But yeah. But anyways, so the next we want to do is you want to bring down this chest piece and at the same time bring back this panel piece right here, just bring that up like it's on a hinge. And then after that, rotate around the head, and then after that, you just want to rotate the shreds on the sides here down a bit so you get some clearance. And, or wait. Or no, no, you want to bring this down, or like this, to here, and then here. There we go. And then you want to squeeze these together, and then this will sit tight here. They'll tab in. And, yeah. And then after that, you just want to bring the head up fully, and then... Bring down the arms, then bring this up here all the way, and come on, or wait, I think this goes like this, yeah. So you have to rotate this around, and then there's these two plastic tabs that go, or clear plastic tabs, I should say, that go in these slots right here, or to show off, we yeah, there, you can see, there, and yeah, I'll tab in right there and there, there we go. And then next, bring up the back little cannons here, or whatever they are. <laughs> and once you got that all done, or one more thing, bring this piece right here. And what you want to do is you want to rotate this right here, or this way maybe. All right, hold on. There we go. So rotate that, and... Just tab this back right in. And once you got that, then you can just, there's a hole right here and you can attach his tur or wait, is this the right way? No, this is not the right way. Or, no, it is the right way. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was the other way, but nope. Where uh the book because I the the blocky part or blocky guns right here, and then the yeah, apparently that one goes on top. So there you go, then you gotta attach that. I, I would leave off except that as part of his main design, having that arm turret on, on the side yeah, it does make him look cooler but yeah so once you got that all done there you guys have Tarn in his robot mode and I gotta say he looks fantastic they Hasbro again like I said before really knocked him out of the park the details paint looks spot on and this it's it's just it doesn't even look like a mainline figure this this kind of does look like a, one of those third party uh, figures are at least more of a premium Hasbro Takara figure. Yeah. Anyways, now for the head sculpts and details right here. Yeah, let's take a look at that awesome head sculpt. Really nice. It's obviously the Decepticon logo, and he does have light piping. There's a little canal right up here. And yeah, I really like that purplish clear plastic, the reddish purple. Because, you know, that really makes him feel like Tarn when you do that. And yeah, and I really like the paint that they put here. It's, yeah, that that that's really what shines about this guy. The his paint job it is really good. And yeah, a lot. Yeah, I really like the gold here. And you got some more gold down there. And the back, very clean, like a very clean back. He's he looks paper. He looks like you know as flat as like flat Stanley or something. But he's you know. He's, it doesn't. It's not really bothersome. It, it works. It, he's pretty nice and clean, and at the same time menacing. So, yeah, I, I don't mind it whatsoever. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Now for the articulation on this guy, his head does move side to side. It's on the ball joint. It can move up, uh, well, just a bit, but you can untap this here and make it move all the way up. So that's nice. And his head can go down that far. And you can even get little angle movements too. So I do like that so you can kind of crack his neck. <laughs> um, and his arms do move up that far. He does have a shoulder swivel. Uh, swivel here at the elbow. It's a little loose, unfortunately. And uh, here's one of my complaints. I wish there was like a tab here, like right around the bicep, like right right there. Kind of wish there was like a clipper tab of some kind because it is is a little annoying <laughs> when it does that. But yeah. um, He does have elbow movement. Well over 90 degrees. And he does have a wrist swivel. 
And his fingers do open up, so it's similar to previous figures that we've gotten, such as, you know, Hot Rod, Ramus Prime, and Seal Series A6 and Kingdom, respectively. And then, of course, you know, Earth Rays, Optimus Prime. And what else? Um, what's, what's the name of that? G-Axis, that's it. Also from, uh, well, from Legacy Year 1. And that, that, of course, that is one of my favorite Legacy figures from 2022. So, yeah, that, that is a good reminder, <laughs> but yeah. Um, he does have waist swivel, legs kick up this far, back that far, and then out that far, thigh swivel, bend at the knee, and then ankle pivot, and feet do move back and forth. So yeah, pretty impressive articulation. Pretty good. I was like, I was expecting, you know, this much articulation at the same time, though. I mean, I kind of forgot that he had the finger movement, <laughs> so that's always welcome. So yeah. But anyways, let's get right down into the robot mode size comparisons right here. So, anyways, now for Tarn's robot mode size comparison. Here he is with Leo Prime. And of course, as he should be, Tarn is taller. So, hey, of course... These, these two are very certain never cross paths, so it, it's, yeah, this is one of those things where it's like, okay, it's, yeah. <laughs> but it, it, as, as long as we get to see Tarn be a uh, nice, pretty, pretty tall scale, it's pretty good. And here he is, just a neat little bonus with the Siege Megatron. And uh, it appears that Megatron is slightly taller, and... I can't really comment on this, because, well, I mean, I never really read the comics, but, um, I, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure who should be taller, because, again, Megatron is, you know, still the leader of the Decepticons, but at the same time, Tarn is, like, you know, probably Megatron's greatest worry. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I have a feeling that Tarn should be here, because, you know, but I don't know. If, 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 you know, Megatron's taller in the comics, then, yeah, it's... It doesn't really matter to me because, you know, Tarn's from the comic universe and Megatron. This is, well, Siege Megatron is its only, but technically it's part of G1, so, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the size comparisons. So, there you guys have my review for the Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager class Tarn. And, yeah, I gotta say, he's a really, really good figure. He's probably one of my favorite, uh, if not my favorite figure from Legacy over, well, definitely Legacy Evolution, but maybe, like, the entire Legacy overall, even better than G-Axis, because, you know, he, he's, he's just really cool and stuff, like, like, I, again, this, I guess this technically means that Tarn is, like, overrated, because, you know, people are like, oh my game, and at the same time, though, I mean, he deserves, you know, that attention, because it's Tarn, like, or if anything, Megatron's overrated, because, you know, he's been in almost every Transformers cartoon and movie, but, you know, of course, still do all the Megatron stuff. But Tarn, you know, it's cool to see him get, you know, the spotlight and stuff. Cool to see, you know, a lot of people are getting, you know, attention. Of course, I think people are giving him too much attention if you see on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was lucky to get this guy. Because, you know, if it was, it was almost like an now or never thing. And, you know, I'm glad I did get him because he's so good. So cool. And really nicely done. Like, again, it is... Seeing the the paint job and stuff, the sculpting, it's it's like you won't even believe this is like a mainline figure. It's the figure you probably see at Walmart or something. Although that's probably not likely concerning, you know, all the scalping that's being done. But yeah, but thankfully got retail price. That's good. But yeah, so overall, really nice figure. People are treating him like he's like the big ultimate figure. He's not. He's just a basic Voyager. So don't raise your expectations too high in terms of. Him being a special figure, but he's he's a really good Voyager nonetheless, though. So, yeah, but anyways, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more, and comment down below what you guys think of this figure. So, anyways, guys, as always, till all, R1.